New England, upstate New York, New Jersey, Maine, Vermont, and New Hampshire hold a wealth of history and beauty protected and preserved by the National Park Service. In previous programs, we've covered New York City parks and those in Massachusetts. In this episode of Discovery's American National Parks, we're taking you on a whirlwind of experiences from the highest peak on the Americas east coast north of Brazil in Acadia National Park to stories about presidents, politics, war, power, greed, and women's rights. Wrapped around Bar Harbor is Acadia National Park, the country's first national park east of the Mississippi, established in 1919 as Lafayette National Park. They changed its name 10 years later to Acadia. It was in these houses gatekeepers resided to operate the gates that were built to keep automobiles off the carriage roads. Carriage tours are offered during the summer season from Memorial Day to October. At low tide, early in the morning, it's popular with photographers looking for the perfect reflection shot of the beehive. This is Morristown National Historical Park in New Jersey. It was the first National Historical Park. This is Patterson Falls, New Jersey's first planned manufacturing city where an entire water-powered industrial complex built up around water power from the Passaic River roaring over Patterson's Great Falls. In 1894, this silent film was shot in West Orange, New Jersey at Thomas Edison's Black Mariah Studio considered the first movie studio in the United States. Edison, in his 84 years, is credited with a record number of patents, 2,332 worldwide and 1,093 in the United States alone. Either held Sandy Hook, which is part of the Gateway National Recreation Area, is here on the New Jersey shore in New York Bay at the entrance to New York Harbor. This is Woodstock, Vermont a picturesque historic village in the Green Mountains of Vermont. And home to the only national park in the state. In nearby New Hampshire, St. Gaudens National Historic Site. In New York, the Saratoga Battlefield National Historical Park is where American Revolutionary Forces changed the tide of the Revolutionary War by stopping the British invasion from Canada. About 100 miles west in Rome, New York, Fort Stanwyck's National Monument. The fort. In Seneca Falls, New York, the Women's Rights National Historical Park is, is the home of Franklin D. Roosevelt National Historic Site. America's 32nd president grew up in Hyde Park and maintained an expansive estate here for his entire life. Theodore Roosevelt Inaugural National Historic Site is in Buffalo, New York, rather than Washington, D.C., where one might expect an inauguration to be held. 